This bow is a banned weapon. Anyone who gets shot by it gets banned off the server forever. I'm the one who coded it, and the reason why I did so goes back to... The day when I walked back to my museum only to find out that everything had been stolen. Except for one item, the holy bowl. And I had an idea of who could have been behind this. But if I was right, the holy bowl would be stolen next. So I need to eliminate the player. But I cannot just kill him, because he can just respawn and go steal my bowl. So I need a more permanent method. What if I would code a bow that would literally ban anyone it shoots? Well, I've already coded it. So let me explain to you how the coder works while testing the bow, my friend. Firstly, I made a custom recipe for the bow. Now, when you shoot an arrow of the bow, the server checks if the bow is a banned bow. If it is, it will give a tag to the arrow saying that this is a banned arrow. Now, if the arrow lands on a player, it will ban him. Yeah. <laughs> what? So I have a functional ban weapon, but I need to introduce it into here, the actual SMP, because whatever I do with a bow right now, won't ban me. What? Okay, just kidding. I faked that. <laughs> so I need to add the plugin to the server. But if I were to ask the server owner to add it, he would say no. So I came up with a plan to get around that. I'm going to put my Bamboo plugin inside of an inoffensive chat plugin. That way, when I'll give the plugin to the server owner, it will look completely inoffensive. And he won't know about the Bamboo hiding inside of it. So I sent him the file, and he actually fell for it. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. <laughs> yes! From that point, my plan was ready to ban this guy. But I stumbled upon a problem that could ruin it all. Yo, Lomity. What's up? Infuse runs on Spigot, right? Uh, I don't know. Ah, shit, it doesn't, dude. The server is running on a different version than I thought, meaning that my bamboo could be extremely buggy for the version. Or even worse, it might not work at all. So, I have to test it on someone before using it on the museum thief. <clears throat> I chose to test the bone on one of my teammates. Hey, lovely. Let's go. So, unlike these bows over here, the one I'm holding is extremely overpowered. Wait, 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 wait Lavi. Okay, l let me explain myself. If it shoots someone, they get banned off the server. I'm not too sure if it's gonna be working, so I was thinking maybe I could find someone who would want to offer himself. Oh, so you want to sacrifice me? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so it really does actually ban you. I mean, if you want to hold it for a little second. Oh, ban bow. What the <laughs> heck? Did... No, don't. Don't. I'm not going to do that. No, it's okay. <laughs> you okay. Is there a way for you to unban me? Um, You know what, man? Do it. Let's go. Okay. I'm ready. Mr. Lobby. Send me to heaven. I'm going to send you to heaven. Three. <laughs> Two, <laughs> one. <laughs> oh my god! The ban bow officially works, meaning that I can now ban the mysterious player. So I met up with two of my teammates and gave them both a ban weapon. But then, one of the most improbable and luckiest events ever happened. We can ban our least favorite members. Oh my god, Darko. We can ban Darko. Can we ban Darko? That is. Can I test on him? What? That player who just got banned was the guy who stole everything from my museum. And since he's gone, the holy bowl is now safe. But me, I'm in terrible danger. However, before I show you what's about to happen, you should check out the Infuse SMP public. It's a server for both Java and Bedrock players. It's super active and I love it. Click the link in the description to join our Discord server in which you can find the Infuse public IP. The story just begins to get serious. When the player got banned, he was in a voice chat with the server only. Owner. And with the messages I was receiving from everyone, I knew that he had told the owner everything. The owner knew I had a bad weapon, and he was going to arrive here way too soon. Wait, apparently he's in my base. He's Good. definitely in this. We gotta like find them and like hold them hostage. I saw armor appear and disappear. Oh, he ran away. Distance. No, I know exactly what's happening. JJ's gonna look in the code to see how to craft it, and he's gonna shoot the bamboo at us. My teammate's prediction was spot on. Not only was the plugin in danger of being removed by the owner, but we were also in danger of getting banned. The only had just left my base to go somewhere else. So we went to his base hoping to find him, ban him before he can figure out the ban bow recipe. But he wasn't there. And while we continued looking around, the owner's team found the recipe. JJ messaged in the group so they figured out the like they figured out the crafting recipe. Oh crap. Our chances of winning had diminished by a lot. We would have to fight them in a ban bow battle and while we walked on the nether roof, guess who found us? They're all on the roof, they're all on the roof. We knock out Lampy in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lumpy's the main culprit. 
And this is where my story ends. One single shot from my very own weapon had me banned. Then one by one, the banbo got every no, no, single wait, one of my wait, teammates. Oh, oh my look. god. We had all been banned, and there was nothing we could do about it. The banbo got removed, and we no. were stuck on a banned screen. If you want to encourage me, you should click any of the two buttons. One makes you subscribe before 10k, the other one makes you watch my last video. Make a choice.